It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how. In 2014, Ethan's wife Mia went missing. Their last form of contact was through a video sent by Mia. The bright colors and carefree attitude of this video contrasts the true nature of a dark plot that somehow Mia was involved in. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Ethan receives an email three years later and arrives to Mia's location, the Dolby haunted house. However, Ethan finds more than just his missing wife within the abandoned home. Family, son. <clears throat> Ethan's past is somewhat of a mystery. He hails from Texas and more than likely resided there. The trip from Texas to Louisiana would take an estimated 8 to 9 hours. This explains why during Ethan's phone conversation, his friend asks, Oh hey, you alright? You just disappeared the other night. Upon arriving to the house, Ethan finds Mia, but instead of a long-needed embrace, Mia acts delirious. No, I wouldn't! Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? The house isn't actually abandoned, and the owners, the Baker family, still reside in the Dolby haunted house. Ethan is no longer trying to find Mia, but also stay alive. What many people fail to realize is that Ethan is just as infected with bacteria as Mia and Zoe. According to the infection report at the end of the game, Ethan meets the criteria of infected victims. He easily regenerates lost limbs and heals instantly from scars. The limbs of test subjects were removed and were grown back within seconds, just as Ethan. The molded nutrients are active in Ethan's body in the very beginning of the game, and during the mid part of the game, Ethan begins to experience hallucinations and is able to communicate and see Evelyn, which fits the timeline of when infected victims should be seeing hallucinations. What's most troubling of this discovery is that Ethan is not cured at the end of the game, causing many potential problems for the outside world. If Ethan isn't cured, it's a big possibility that Evelyn's molded bacteria will live on and continue into the next Resident Evil. However, Ethan's morale is more of a mystery. Considering his foggy past, it's easy to speculate Ethan's true intentions. It can be concluded that Ethan had no knowledge of Mia's whereabouts, as we know that Mia was actually working for a yet-to-be-named company that produces B.O.W.s. She literally tells him that she lied. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have- So it's safe to say that Ethan may just be an everyman. But other theories suggest that he is working for a rival company in order to combat the company that produced Evelyn. Now ask yourself this, why did Ethan continue to the house knowing the intense danger within? How was he somewhat knowledgeable of the D-series ingredients? Now of course, this is all speculation. In conclusion, Ethan Winters is a charismatic frontman that fulfilled his place in the game to think and act the way the audience would if they were subject to the horrors of Resident Evil 7. If Ethan really is infected at the end of the game, what do you nachos think of Ethan's future within the series? What do you think of Ethan in general? Be sure to comment down below your thoughts. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Resident Evil content. Have a good one, and as always, stay single.